Welcome back everybody. In this video we're going to show you the Thrunite T2 rechargeable flashlight and uh, at the end of it I'll give you a bonus woodchuck kill or two and maybe even more than one or two if uh, we have another woodchuck step out out here while we're doing this, vi this uh, video. Carl just mowed these fields the other day so we have lots of fresh uh, open woodchuck holes out here and we're going to keep an eye out this evening and try to get some killed. So I know we're going to bring you one but we might bring you two, three, four. All depends on how many uh, end up coming out by the time this video is over. So let's go ahead and unbox this, see what we got here. Okay, here it is, everybody. The Thrunite T2 rechargeable flashlight here. Uh, first thing you notice is it seems like it's nice and hefty well built it's aircraft grade aluminum uh, body on here and let's uh, take the battery cap off and uh, usually there's a little plastic piece in there in between no no I think it's ready to rock and roll it takes a 5000 mAh uh, 3.6 volt battery 21700 so a big old battery on it. Uh, let's go ahead and screw that back on and see if it's fired up here. Right out of the box. Nope, I think it needs charged. And it's got a charging port right here. And let's see what else comes in the box here. Got your user's manual. comes with a, a sheath that you can connect to your belt and we got a strap for it an extra cover for your battery here in case that one were to rip off for your battery charger and then we got a couple o-rings if uh, for some reason one of the o-rings breaks keep it waterproof so uh, let's get this charged up and then I'm going to tell you a little bit more about this light it is the next day and our through night T2 is fully charged. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell you about the different modes and uh, show you using it last night in the dark. I actually used it right out this window right here in front of us and there's a deer standing out there at probably 90, 85, 90 yards or so. And uh, it's pretty impressive what it could do with that. But it throws on uh, turbo mode, it throws 3,757 lumens, which is extremely bright. You can actually feel heat coming off of that. But it's got uh, multiple modes. It's got turbo mode, and uh, then it's got strobe, butterfly, low, medium, and high. And uh, I'm not going to go through uh, each mode as to what how many lumens they are I'll I'll tell you that uh, medium is 366 lumens and it'll uh, have a run time for seven and a half hours uh, on turbo mode when you're running at 3757 lumens it throws a beam at 158 meters which is in my opinion the most impressive part of this light this thing is extremely bright for just a, a short handheld flashlight and it feels extremely durable. Uh, one of the things I like about it too is this clip. So you can clip it on your belt this way or you could even, uh, if you're wearing a ball cap, you could clip it on your ball cap, point it out in front of you, almost like a headlight. So that was a pretty good design. It's got a good grip, good feel. Uh, I really don't have uh, you know many bad things to say about it. That clip comes right on and off. You can slip it on and off there as you can see. It comes with a strap too that you could hook up in there but we're not going to do that. Yeah it's uh, impact resistant up to uh, a meter and a half. Waterproof down to two meters and extremely extremely bright on turbo mode so you're not going to want to shine this in your eyes. Kaylee did that the other night and uh, she's seen white dots for hours. 
Okay, everybody, that's going to do it on the Thrunite T2 flashlight. Uh, probably the biggest plus to this flashlight is the uh, lumens and the power of that light beam. As you could see with the deer out back the other night, it was foggy, but this thing throws one heck of a beam a long ways. This thing is extremely bright. I'm looking forward to using this trail in deer uh, at night, blood trails. This thing's going to be perfect. You know, it's short, compact, light. And very durable so I appreciate everybody watching uh, link to this is in the description below you can get them right off Amazon or through night uh, through nice website appreciate everybody let's watch a woodchuck get smacked Well, that right there's the third woodchuck of the evening. I just keep looking outside and I keep seeing more woodchucks. That one is right down there in the corner of Brian's field. But uh, it's been a bad evening to be a woodchuck out here behind the house. We're going to keep our eyes open and maybe we'll see another one come out. There's some deer coming out over there. 